But we'll mm. see what uh, Chocolate Paladins can do here on the attack, and you know, uh, Odin's Legion on the defense. Hmm. Why is Mr. Mabassi and Blaze not saying bro? Why are they browing us? What do we do? Oh, um, I love I, I I love him, but you know, Wei Zhao, a hey, shout out to him, Zimster 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. I uh, just like give you and shit because like he left us in like uh, was it season eight or season something? Season eight, yeah. <laughs> So both teams are now setting up here, getting ready to go. Uh, Ch uh, Chocolate Paladins will take the attack this time. And um, Chocolate Paladins will take the attack this time. And the defenders, Odin's Legion, will be taking the defense. Uh, both teams pretty much sticking to the same, a little different unit comp, actually. Just for, actually a completely different unit comp for uh, Chocolate Paladins here. No more Outriders in their mix. They're definitely bringing a more infantry-focused team this time. Onami actually starting with Tenant Farmer is pretty interesting. Um... It does look like the defenders are also bringing some outriders in their mix, but not a full sally out push like they did, like uh, Chocolate Paladins. They're not taking that approach by the looks of it. Uh, maybe a handful of outriders here and there to make some plays later on in the game, but not right off the bat. Uh, we'll have to see where it goes and see what, what happens here. Uh, this could really go either way. It seems like uh, a lot of the uh, Odin's guys, they're uh, they're starting at the uh, B and C area. It seems like I'm guessing they'll probably just give up A right off the bat and probably hold those two points. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking as well here. Um, probably play very conservative on A. Then with the primer, but we'll come back. Thank you very much for the primer, bro. Oh, I don't lag this time. That'd be ideal. All right, all right, all right. So we're off to the races here. Um, it does look like the the defending team will not do a sally at all confirmed. I'm actually going to lower my graphics real quick. I'll just make sure it makes a difference. Uh, real yep, quick, go for real it, man. Actually, my graphics are already medium. Never mind. All right. Looks like Chaka, Paladin, Skin, Neon are already in the Siege Towers. They're about to push. Um, Odin's Legion, they got like about like four or five guys on already right now shooting down. Uh, but... Very yeah, conservative, see. very conservative gameplay by both right now. Um, Chaka Paladin is pretty much doing what Odin's Legion wanted to do initially on the last fight, and uh, pretty much just take that slow approach, push towers, use the already, work, sit back a little bit, and let things just work their way out. Um, pretty much what Odin's Legion wanted to do on the previous fight, uh, but could not. Um, does look like at this point in time. So right. everyone's just using the arties right now, so. Both yep. teams taking it slow. Uh, Rip casting Blake on the ladders. Odin's got like a few guys on the walls right there towards the uh, A point. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Very slow. <laughs> yeah, very slow start. Very slow start here. Uh, they're just pushing already, getting ready to go. No one really sailing out. No one really making trying to make a play. A couple guys defending gate as well. I'm um, going for a closer look real quick. Got one musket pike and a, and a, and a dual blade hanging out by a gate, just kind of hanging out, shooting the arty a little bit, harassing. Towers look like they're going to land right off the bat for free. Um, they will not anti the towers at all. They just don't have the arty set up for it. I mean, the arty to really take it down uh, by the looks of it. The arty was already pretty much, pretty much anti at this point in time. Um, I have to see how it's it goes. Like, they're going to give A here like decisively. Well. Is, yep. They're falling back from A. Um, looks like there's like a unit of uh, Marty's on the A point just to stall, but yep. I mean, it's, it's probably a good, DNC. and it's probably a good play. They realize that it's very troubleable up there, and they're really not worth defending. Um, oh yeah, totally. Especially in a CBL where you have limited deaths. Um, definitely an attacker favorite point uh, for A. B and C are definitely more in the defense favorite point. Um, yeah, they're going to take A for free here. Very quick fight uh, so far. Very fast pace. Uh, the same back on already. A couple guys working the green watches and the blue watches in the back. Excuse me, is that purple watcher? Purple watchers in the back. Um, actually, that's no, blue watcher. Excuse me. I think it's blue, yeah. Blue. Sorry, but I'm like, what's this one? Is that purple? And I was like, what the hell? What the? Why is that purple? Um, yeah, so it looks like uh, Chocolate Palin's going to take a slow approach here. Take a central probe, put some light pressure on tab, right, just to do some scouting right off the bat. Take supply of guys standing on supply, ready to take it right away. Kaisa standing there, ready to go. A couple guys going for a small snowball effect on tab left as well. You got SC, you got Fluffy Rabbit, and a couple other guys taking on ACA Buck and Furrier and Fury over there, who's actually running back to supply point, not willing to engage just yet. Ruffle taking down Blake, uh, Blake being the first death of the match, unfortunately. Kind of sad in the chat for Blake. R.I.P. Blake, you were ahead of your time. Ahead of his time, bro. Ahead <laughs> of his time. A true artist of death. Yep. Um, so that's one down to 114 to go. 
Uh, it does look like uh, Chaka Palance will go for a same style approach here as um, as Odin's Legion did for B and C, taking in this tab, really kind of step on tab right at the point, but they are doing a slight rotation tab left and a central approach for that supply point. I think that is the most ideal play um, based off what I just saw with Odin's Legion doing it. It looked like a healthy strat, and it did work out very much in the favor of Odin's Legion. Let's see if Chaka and Paladins can reenact it and RP it out for us so we can uh, see what happens here. Um, no, you, no real bloodshed has been shed yet right now, ladies and gentlemen. So this fight can really go either way, see wherever it goes. And, um, we'll have to wait and see right now. It looks like they're taking a very slow approach. I'm really kind of waiting for the action here so I can really kind of see what goes down. Jabs is being thrown right now. A couple of tosses here and there to do some slight melting, but nothing true substantial yet. Outright is doing a little bit of sniping with the javelins. Just kind of throwing at them, trying to, you know, trying to whittle down Chuckle Paladins a little bit. But the Chaco Palace just looks like they're soaking up those Outriders right now, not really prioritizing them. A um, couple of guys in position. I still got a couple of stragglers just kind of hanging out. Like, there's a mole in the short sword. I'm not really sure what they're doing. It's kind of sitting mid right now. Not really doing much of anything. Um, kind of waiting to see where to go. A couple guys on tab right as well, probing B, but nothing too substantial right now. They're kind of in the staring contest over there as well. Tab left also going for the staring contest. Both teams are in position at this point in time, if I did say so myself. Um, I'm not really sure what Chalk and Palace is doing on this wall. Um, they did get nervous about the supply point push, clearly. They are doing a rotation by the looks of it. Um, they I are going to... I see what they're doing. I think I see what they're doing. You see it? You see uh, it's going down? Yo, yo, I think, uh, if, if I know Roll pretty well, um, they're probably going to break that door right there and go with the flank you see that roll uh, uh, that little by the b yeah, yeah you could swarm yeah. that with that little p passage however uh i think it's gonna be a little tough because like you know like we got jabs throwing stuff at um the guys on the wall so you do have some high quality uh uh pvpers here as well onami onami ripcats and roll taking on some boys right there for a little hero trade right there taking out a hero along the way um, not really full pushing though. They're kind of in the staring contest over here still. Let's go ahead and move over to the tab left side and see if there's still anything happening over here. On the tab left side, they're still playing very conservative as well. Um, both in the staring contest. You need the team pushing down. Really have to see. They're really kind of spread out right now, man. I mean, they too. I, I'm not really sure. I mean, my man's throwing. It's just it's, okay. It's, yep. You see that? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You cheese that. There's the cheese. There's the cheese. And retreat, but that's just like that. They go for the cheating. The cheating dash right now. Get some good trades right now. Good call by Tab, by the way. If you know Roll, you know Roll well, brother. You do know Roll well. They do take the small door. Right. They do swarm and take free Medaz. Reapers mixed in with the Cav unexpectedly. Uh, Ripcats and the boys looking for an opportunity here to make a play. A five-man stack really kind of. Four Brachios in position, getting ready to go in. They're going to try to stop him before they brace. He is going to get in there before they brace. Yeah. He will take those four Brachios for free, ladies and gentlemen. Those four Brachios are completely play gone. Yep. Good Ooh, play on, oh, big oh, no plays on tab right side real quick. On tab left side, looks like they're lightning engaging as well. I'm going to move over there real quick. Looks like there is a light engagement on Supply Point as well, ladies and gentlemen. Moving in for a closer look. Tab left pushing down the staircase into flames over here. Supply Point also being pressured. Um, the boys in the back line of Tab right are making a big play on B. B does look like it will be successfully taken. On Tab left side, staircase is in a big hard, hard fought fight against some flames real quick. Shenji's versus flames. Shenji's are in a good position right now if they can shoot down the staircase forehead. And on the staircase on mid, uh, it does look like Odin's Legion It was ready to go there and does stop the push there. Um, let's go back over here real quick and take a look. Looks like Roland Onomi's on the C point now with their cab. They're gonna pincer in uh, that stairway. Holy shit, dude! That's a great play. That's a great play. Yeah, yeah, they take right C for yeah. free here. If that's the case, there's nothing in sight, dude. There we go. Let's see. Wow. What our B guys can push in. What a, what a string of events. It do now they have to wait to see if the guys on tab left in that central stone position are still alive to make a play here. Onami going into actually who is this? Onami going to a one v one with Buck decisively wins that. Onami taking away yeah. the showing why he is who he is. Um, it does well, look like not only that you got ripcats on B. Like, you do have ripcats on B as well. <laughs> and on yeah, tab left like side, talking about is flooding into B. They are full funny into B. Uh, it does look like Onami is a full distraction at this point in time on C side. Uh, Odin's Legion not realizing at this point in time. Odin's Legion not set up at all for B. The go. big push is coming in right now for Chaka Paladins. They are completely split, ladies and gentlemen. They got me split. I'm, I'm trying to zip between the two points, goddammit. Unbelievable. Yep. It does look like Odin's Legion oh. is anti as best they can. A short sword of points fighting for their lives while the other rest of the team is in the back line. From the flank as well. From big flank right as time. well. And the job was not ready to go. He are those cataphracts again. People with the United Charge really like cataphracts, where they're RPing with cataphracts here. Uh, absolutely proud. Uh, it does look like Chaka Palace won't push in the B here. They're still in the little alleyway, kind of letting Odin's Legion sit up here. They could have totally snowballed that and took that just now. 
Um, the Reapers on the flank! The, the OZ is not looking at the Reapers on the flank at all. It does look like those Reapers will fully engage. Ripcat's fully engaging as well. The slow walk by Chocolate Palace coming in hot right now. They had him disguised as Pike Militia RPing as well. Um, great disguise right there. Big push here by Chocolate Palace. They take B and they're taking C as well. They don't know wins the 1v1. Onomi. Onomi oh, no, wins look the look 1v1 look. on C. They're taking C and B at the same exact time. Odin's Legion kind of coppets with a pants down at this point in time. There's not look much they can Pringles. do. Where's Pringles? Hey, Pringles on that supply. Oh, on that supply. He's stopping them from, like, taking out you. Oh, my God. Chaka <laughs> Palance is actually making a really good effort here. Taking B decisively. Taking C as well. Onami winning the 1v1. I'm going to go for a closer look real quick. He does take win the 1v1 over there. Rip Cats, Jason West. Looks like they're... Are, nope. Jason West is going to go straight for home. It looks like all oh, the teams are going to secure that supply. Onami is still on C point, guys. Oh, Holy my crap. God. <laughs> Jason West pulling them all back, making them make a play. Otis Legion kind of not, like, they're just going to full pressure at this point in time. Otis Legion does not like the full pressure here, ladies and gentlemen. Onami is literally still here with Ripcats, fighting for his life on C. They've been here for a while in that 2v2 in this DM scenario, classic DM scenario here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot going on on this map right now. This is a good fucking fight. Ripcats in a hard fight here. He gets out of it. He gets out of it. He takes out one. Onami in the fight as well. Who's coming to support him? It's Essie himself. It's a 3v2 scenario here. A couple of infantry mixed in there for the for Otis Legion. They do take C to C. <laughs> Holy shit. This is actually pretty good. Nice plays. Nice yep. plays so far. Yeah, good plays. Good plays. And it does look like, at this point in time, uh, it does look like Chocolate Palance is up on units, and they are up, and they have less deaths as well. Um, they're looking pretty healthy right now for Chaka Palance. Odin's Legion is trying to recover from this, losing C and B pretty decisively here. Chaka Palance is now pelting home already, early with out Outriders, which is classic strat for NA players in general. Um, very nicely done here by Chaka Palance. Odin's Legion set up, ready to go, not giving up, not going down without a good fight here. They're fighting hard, making sure they can recover as best they can. Uh, 200 units more on the field right now for Chaka Paladins. Um, it does, I'm gonna go in for a defensive look here. I'm gonna go for a defensive stance to Chaka Palance is all over the map. It's hard to follow. Yep, go for it. I will also like to point out that Blake is out of the match. He died three times already. Wow. <laughs> We're going to Sag in the chat for Blake. Blake is completely out of the match. The captain is down. There is, there is, no, there is no captain behind the ship right now. Chaka Palins is still treading along, trying to secure the dub and make their make their captain proud. Fnatic going with a very healthy trep here as well. If that lands, that should be a pretty juicy trep, as you can see, coming on in Ooh. nice and pretty. Um, here we go, here we go. Should be a Will really nice uh, fight here coming in. The graphics in this game are freaking fantastic sometimes, man. Uh, zero yeah. lag this match as well, which is big pog. Um, love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. You love to see it. Um, central push real quick, real, looks like, as well. Nothing really on tab up at this point in time. Tab, it looks like central and tab right will be the push here for Chaka Palads. At this point in time, they're just literally throwing outriders from supply, pelting Chaka Palads. Chaka Palads really just kind of shifting their guys around, trying to make a play, make, make something happen, and, uh, see what happens, see what goes down here. Um, it's going to be a tough one. Looks like uh, Odin's is pretty set up right now. Um, looks like home point's a little light. Oh, here comes the push. Here comes the big push, push by, here uh, by, Chocolate, by Chocolate, Paladins. Chocolate Paladins. They are going in. They are making a big dip on Manassas coming in to follow up. Beautiful Monastic charge. Palace guards are not Ooh. ready for it. They do bring stop some of the Monastics. Um, big death ball here by Chocolate Palance. It's going to be a tr hard trade here. Um, it's going to come down to who wins the exchange. There's no flanking play happening. At the flanking play cannot happen at this point in time. Um... I would not move screen. those uh, flank. Like I would not move those pikes away from those flanks. <laughs> wow. Anomi uh, and rabbits right there. Shaggy's gonna go. Wow. Get more big uh, big like trade home. here. Big monastic push by running. Odin's. Big home push by by. They're charging in help sergeants right now for Odin's Legion as well. Trying to get a kill in there. They stopped their charge, realizing it's in vain. Um, no real flanking play here by Chocolate Palance. Odin's Legion pushing off Chocolate Palance here, here off home point. The sentries are firing at will at this point in time. Hopefully they don't run out of ammo soon. Odin's Legion just shitting out Cap at this point in time. Really trying to make something happen. Chocolate Palance kind of uh, trying to make something stop. Trying to stop their push. Chocolate Palance getting pushed out completely by Odin's Legion at this point in time. Uh, still zero flank by Chocolate Palance. They're just head, head on, head on into each other. Um, Treb's going off. It's just a bloodbath, dude. It's just a bloodbath. Mm -hmm. Um... It is really just I a blood I push off home point. I would probably reset at this point and get ready for another push. Instinct, though, with the uh, 40s behind that back line, protecting that flank. Great job by him. Very nice job by, by Odin's Legion right here. He's playing, he, he's taking the honorable route. Although he's not getting many kills, he's watching his teammates back exactly from what is about, what is about to happen. Chaka Palance is coming with the flank now, realizing they can't. Um, completely pushed off and no real plays at this point in time. Chaka Palance is going to have to rethink and revise their strategy right real quick. It does look like uh, unit count on the field at this point in time. 
Um, 552 on the field right now for Chaka Palace to 318 for Odin's for, oh, for Odin's Legion. We'll have to see how that goes down and what happens here. Here goes another home push. Let's see. Big home push here by Chaka Palace again. I'm gonna go in for a closer look this time. ISG's coming in for Odin's Legion as well. Chaka Palace definitely making a play here. They're definitely trying to get it. I'm gonna get in for a really close look here, ladies and gentlemen. Matt on the front lines in a 3v1. He's definitely dead as fuck, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is just a bloodbath, ladies. Just as Moe does go down here, Odin's Legion is playing very tightly knit. They're working with the ISGs to protect the Senji Gunners. Jason West realizing that that's the biggest threat goes in there. Colt Gibb for Odin's Legion goes down as well. It's just a real hard trade here. Six minutes of this. Can Odin's Legion keep it up for this long? Uh, an inter interesting tread placement. Oh, uh, there goes the charge. And there's a big charge by Chocolate Paladins. That's a big charge. They are completely pushed off. Chocolate Paladins is going to make a big push here on point. Odin's Legion is pushed off the point. Another cap charge following that up. Odin's Legion is a deep Ooh. shit at this point in time. I Another cap charge game. coming in. That is definitely game. Um, yeah. That's got to be game. Uh, if that's it's not game, then they're throwing. Uh, that's definitely <laughs> game. That's game. Very nice job by Chaka Palace. Okay. A really honorable hold there by uh, Odin's Legion. Really trying to recover the situation. Um, they're just dying at this point in time. But it's over, ladies and gentlemen. There's just no coming back from this. Um, wow. Oh my god, that is a very, a very intense teams. fight. Very nice plays by both teams. <laughs> uh, I didn't like it all this time, Big Pog as well. Um, very, very nice play. Uh, really, 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 really hard fight right there for uh, Odin's Legion. Chaka Palance really came to play on that attack. That B and C push had me spinning around, bro. Uh, really good call, by the way, Tao, on that small door. Really good call, bro. Oh yeah, that's kind of like a, our little strat that we always go with. So when I saw them trying to break down that door, I was like, "Yo!" And there's <laughs> the heroes. The there's the heroes themselves <laughs> right here, ladies and gentlemen. The men, the, the men that came, that came through the small door to make the play and make make space for the team. Uh, they definitely came to play tonight and uh, really kind of ca carried on with uh, Chaka Paladins here, really making sure that they su succeeded in that dub. Um, really nice plays right there for Chaka Paladins. Odin's Legion really taking uh, honorable stances as well. Instinct, I think, is really the guy to note here. Um, always Bird does walk with MVP. He's also really good. But Instinct really, I have to say, I have big respect for Instinct because he took some honorable routes there. And especially on this fight, he actually took a defensive stand watching the flank, not front lining. Um, while he watches the back line for the boys, making sure that everyone get flanked. Unfortunately, it was just too much for him to handle and too much for the, uh, the, the top two there, the top three there to carry. Um, let's take a look at the post battle now, now uh, analytics real quick. Um, if we look at this, it goes for free completely. Um, and uh, once the B and C push, I mean, this small door over here, I haven't used that strat much myself. I, I can't say I've often used that strat ever, actually. And um, really, really nice job by uh, Roll there. And the boys, uh, really great call by Tao as well. And it's just a, it's just a juicy fight. That was really freaking good. Um, All cap players, man. You, you got to see those routes. So. Yeah. <laughs> cataphracts and monastics. When in doubt, I mean, honestly, cataphracts are fun. And I use them for fun in the siege. I don't really use them in a tournament scenario. But they did seem to pull off. Because that, that's what charged on that home point on that last two, those last two pushes that pushed them off home. Those are cataphracts, mm -hmm. man. Those are freaking cataphracts. Uh, and a monastic. Oh, yeah. And a set of monastics. But um, NA's definitely got their calf down pat. Uh, very interesting. Alchemist also doing some serious works there. Um really this juicy fight dude um what, what's your thoughts tab what's the what's the vibe man uh great fights overall from both sides and you know it's like hey you know um like i said i keep saying all these guys are really really good players so it's it's gonna come down to the wire um chocolate paladins they they probably uh came up with like a strat that not a lot of players uh have pulled just because I think um, you know we're so used to like def like defending that map in like a certain way that now you start seeing like different ways say like, you know let's say for example that little backdoor on the B point mm. like you don't really see that happen um, so great plays by them um, in terms of Odin's Legion like they fought their hearts out on that home point they really like, did they, I have big yeah. respect for them they really tried so. Yeah, man, it's like CB rivals. You never know how it's going to go down. So props to both teams and great job. That's actually the first time I actually witnessed a back-to-back, a, back, a win and then a back-to-back -back win for Chaka Palins as well. Um, they've really kind of stuck it through. They had some very tough matches at the beginning of this tournament, uh, starting off against Surf Slayers, which was the last tournament's uh, season uh, winners. Um, they had some very challenging fights, and they had to fight Pond Guard, if I'm not mistaken. And that was another very yep. tough fight as well. Um, so for Chaka Palins to come back on, on their two feet and come back swinging with all their heart, uh, big respect for them and a uh, really nice job. Um, big shout out to Odin's Legion as well with Ragnarok leading the charge over there. They did. They fought really hard. Um, 
they if they get time to set up they are like they are very they are very sleepy you're absolutely right if they get time to set up they'll freaking make you pay for it but if you get if you full push them and you give full pressure they uh they tend to uh not react fast enough uh, that's what i definitely yes, noticed uh for uh for odin's legion but um that does conclude uh this round of the tournament for chocolate paladins versus